hey, y'all want more trans memes? I'm a girl. I need to calm down. I've always been a girl. It was nothing new. That I'm still a girl. This also reminds me of... Hold on. It also reminds me of this meme, which is one of my favorite trans memes. Just sitting on the couch, on the phone, minding my own business. Holy shit, I'm a girl. <laughs> Just like, yeah, actually, I do have this little realization every now and then, and it's really cool. It's really cool how it hits. If you're a trans femme or a trans mask and you don't yet experience this in your respective direction, you will one day. You will. Me, a pharmacy technician, prepping other trans people's prescriptions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh god, I love... I mean, I'm a little biased. Bring a trans witch myself, but I love trans witches. Fuck yeah. Weebs. Furries. Trans girls. Cat girls are based. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Seriously though, cat girls are awesome. And dog girls. And wolf girls. You're dead, lol. She's ours. She's ours. No. She's mine. Blow, blow high? <laughs> blow high, by the way, is the correct way to say blow high, not blahage. Although blahage is very funny and very enjoyable, and I still like saying blahage sometimes, but it is blow high. Blow high. Are you winning, son? Actually, Dad, I think I identify as a woman. Okay, my child, as a father, I love you and support you, even if you are questioning. Months later. Are you winning, daughter? Yeah, Dad, I think I finally am. Thank you for accepting me. I love you. Of course, no daughter of mine should feel uncomfortable in her own skin. I love you, too. Oh, this is just this is just cute and sweet. That's just cute and sweet. Senpai of the pool, what is your wisdom? If you're all right with being a guy but hate being seen and treated like one, then you're probably not all right with being a guy. Thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, dear senpai of the pool. Yeah, I mean, it can be very easy to just, like, try to dismiss your internal feelings and your experiences. Okay, no, that's a lie. It's not easy. It's hard. But, like, that ends up happening. We dismiss and we invalidate ourselves. And we say, oh, no, I'm okay. I can deal with this. But, like, no, if you still have these feelings of not agreeing or not liking how you're being seen then maybe how you're being seen doesn't match how you want to be seen. Doesn't match who you are. Me. I'm a lesbian. Doctor. Oh good, so you have no possibilities of being pregnant. Me. Um, yeah, I might have... Uh, huh? My trans girlfriend. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there is a lot of talk, I think, and like, over-focus on HRT sterilizing people. And first of all, that's not like 100% all the time. Like, yes, HRT does come with a risk of infertility and does come with a further risk of permanent infertility. And if you get bottom surgery done, obviously that also affects your fertility and ability to procreate. But here's the thing, neither HRT nor surgery make somebody trans. You can be trans femme without having surgery or without going through HRT. So yes, a trans girlfriend can impregnate her girlfriend. Doesn't make her any less of a woman. Also, I'm going to take this opportunity to say girl cock is good. Can I say that on YouTube? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Trans girls with voice dysphoria. Talking bad. Talking scary. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm feeling that a lot right now. Uh, mostly because my throat is like a little scratchy. I was sick for like... Oh, almost like a month strep throat and then like a long-standing cough and it like i still feel in my throat that like i'm not 100 percent and i can't like use my voice the way i want to and it's uh, frustrating but you know i i wanted to do a video so hi what's your name i think it's good girl hey that's my name too same here same hey did someone call me <laughs> okay 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 i feel i feel a little called out um, I feel slightly called out. Um, just don't, don't pay attention to my ears that tail behind me. Okay, okay. Okay, this one hits a little real, but, uh, oh, this is really sweet. Age 13, shell of denial. Man, I wish I was born a guy. Hypothetically, if I became a boy one day, would you still love me? Well, if you were a guy, you would be making me a f So, hypothetically, I'd kill you. Haha. -ha. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. Of course, what was I thinking? Age 17, reasonable bargain. So, um, I'm kinda, like, gender fluid? Oh. Sorry, uh, what does that mean? I mean, sometimes I identify as a girl, and sometimes I'm a guy, or somewhere in between. Oh, okay. R really? But, like, could you just be a girl most of the time? At least around my family? Oh. Yeah. Of course. Age 21, first recognition. 
Hey, so I think I have feelings for you. I think I do too, but I don't know if I'm ready. Sure. And I think I might be a guy. Oh, I'm sorry. Why? Does that bother you? Why would it? I, I don't know. <laughs> sorry. Hey now, stop apologizing. It doesn't change anything. Oh, okay. Sorry. <sighs> Doofus. Age 24. Road to acceptance. I finally had top surgery. I've been on T a while too, but <sighs> my hips are still so wide. Still no facial hair or body hair either. And I like having long hair, but it still gets me misgendered. Maybe I should cut my hair. No, if I'm so short and feminine that people would probably just think I'm a butch lesbian. Wow. Ouch. Hey, hun. You feeling okay? Yeah, I'm just wondering if I should cut my hair. Oh, why? I thought you liked your hair. I, I do, but do I look, I don't know, to, you know, not at all. You're my handsome man, no matter what. <laughs> this actually makes me want to cry. Uh, like, yeah. It's not easy to deny. It's not an easy path. But it's often a path we get forced into, you know? That we feel like we have to be in because it's not safe. That we're not going to be accepted. And especially when you have examples in your life of people just not accepting you. Uh, people showing you that it's not okay. Even, like, subtly or implicitly. That stings and digs really deep. And that leads to a lot of feelings of shame about who you are. And that sharing who you are is somehow bad. And is... is and, uh, even though this is a trans mask experience, like... Oh god, this hits really deep. Okay, um... <laughs> average trans from cuddling session? Nom chomp. Um... I can confirm that this is an average trans from cuddling session. Um, being a trans femme with a trans femme partner and being the one who noms and chomps. Okay, let's move on. Okay, this is something that Brooke does in some of her comics that I find really cute and really interesting where she personifies the different uh, kind of emotions or expressions going on in her head, kind of the conflicting ideas and gives them a voice. Interesting. I'm not going to comment on that further, but it's just really fascinating to me. Of course you should go out in a skirt and stuff. You always have so much fun when you go out, femme. You feel happier, you're more affirmed. There's so many reasons I think you should. True enough. Good points, Amber. <clears throat> it takes like two seconds to put on a hoodie. Honestly, he didn't make a valid point. <laughs> really cute comic. But again, I find the personification and like the giving of identity and voice to different parts of you to be a fascinating concept. That is all I will say. Don't play with that, Billy. It's for girls. You can play with whatever you want, Peter. Don't be silly, Billy. You're a boy. Sure, Peter, if you like it. Ugh, you should be so ashamed. You force this poor boy to be like you wanted him to be just because you wanted a girl, I bet. Like, huh? Huh? Well, honestly, a lot of transphobia that's like gets rooted or tries to get rooted in like thinking that as being something being forced on something else. It's so hypocritical because what they're doing is forcing their own ideas of what people should be like onto other people. They're the ones who are forcing people to be who they're not. Life might get way harder now, but laying on my chest now puts me in indescribable pain and my prospects for pockets decreases by the second. Uh, wh wh what? <laughs> Somebody might think, like, why would you want that? And it's like, well, because I, this is just who and what I am. Wow, your hair is really nice, actually. Oh, uh, thank you. If you were someone's daughter, I'd suggest growing it out to them. Uh, too bad you're a boy. Mm. Yeah, I had this told me too, honestly, or something similar, at least. Or, like, I was able to grow up my hair uh, pretty early on. I think I started growing up my hair long in grade seven, and I kind of just went for a rocker look. And, you know, I think I hid behind, like, oh, yeah, I'm just going for, like, a rock star look. When in reality, you know, I wanted long hair because it made me feel feminine. Uh-huh. But I remember very distinctly going to her hairdresser one time and just being told over and over, like, how beautiful my hair is. Oh, it's so thick. And how it's such a shame that it's on my head because women would be jealous and envious to have hair like mine. And I was just like, um, can I just like my hair, please? Like, wh what is this? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh, is there any reason on why Nintendo gave Link a vagina bones? Fellas, is it gay to have a, uh, hold on, check my notes, uh, a, a, a pelvis? Calling a pelvis vagina bones, that's so funny, I'm crying. People are so ridiculous. Tammy was talking about you earlier. Oh, really, what'd she say? Well, uh, uh, she said you looked like a lesbian based. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not an insult. People think I look like a lesbian. Good. I am. Sad because I'm still in the tiny titty committee after eight months. N wait a fucking minute. I thought DD was big. I've been lying to my whole flight. What the fuck? Yeah, uh, bra sizes are not what you think. Um, honestly, the calculation for bra sizes are really, really weird. I think people's perceived notion of what different size uh, breasts are like and how that relates to different cup sizes is just kind of off. I was actually looking at a study on transgender breast sizes a little while ago. And first of all, there's not a lot out there. And the stuff that is out there is kind of like very weird quality and honestly, just very strange. But this one always stood out to me because it you know, it kind of just said that, oh, trans women shouldn't expect anything more than triple A cup, which, first of all, what the hell is a triple A cup? I don't know, that always sat weird to me, and I looked into it more, and I think that she just got the sizing wrong completely, and it's just really strange. I think I want to do a full video at some point, just tearing into this paper, and this chart in particular, because, you know, as a trans femme who's hoping for some any amount of breast growth, this is disappointing to see where it basically says, yeah, you shouldn't expect any breast growth at all, pretty much. Uh, but actually, I think this is how you should read this chart, where it's actually saying that 50% of trans femmes uh, will get less than a C cup. That is very different from a AAA cup, which again, I don't even know what a AAA cup is. So, you're just browsing trans reddits because you're supportive and that's the only reason, hmm? 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 Anybody can look at and be interested in trans comedy and trans media and trans memes. That doesn't implicitly mean or directly mean that you're a trans. But there is definitely a correlation that, you know, if you're interested in something, maybe it's because you identify with it. Oh, every time. But there definitely is a meme about, like, you know, just a really strong ally, and the really strong ally turns out to be, like, well, yeah, you're an ally because you're standing up for yourself indirectly. That's who you were. That was definitely me. I definitely fall into that category. I was just a really good trans ally. I was just a really good queer ally. I wasn't queer. I wasn't trans. I just I just really wanted to make a safe space for queer and trans people. And I got really excited for like positive trans news. I got really excited when Madeline from Celeste was officially said to be trans. And when the creator, Maddie Thorson, came out as a trans woman, I was just really excited because I'm a good ally, you know? I remember when I saw Maddie Thorson's blog post on her coming out as being trans, I got very excited and I expressed that excitement by finding my trans friend and like sending it to them being like, hey, isn't this so cool? And just like essentially trying to indirectly enjoy without exp like directly expressing enjoyment, you know? I wanted to live vicariously through them. And I don't need to do that anymore. Talking with dad after I telling him I've started HRT. You can't just do this to yourself. This is a family decision. I need time to mourn. I'm 24. Also, I'm not dead. Yes, yeah, a family decision for what I do for myself that doesn't impact you or anybody else. Like, I have a modicum of understanding for like some amount of feeling of loss of knowing a person if they transition and also and a feeling of loss of not getting a chance to connect to that person before they transitioned right like it is a complex issue and it does have multiple layers of kind of recontextualizing that can be something to process but I don't think that's something that should be put on the person who's currently going through a really hard time. Like if you're a parent of somebody transitioning or a friend of somebody transitioning or just you know, have somebody in your life who is transitioning and you feel conflicted and confused and you feel some amount of just not sure how to process it, that's not inherently bad. But what you do with that and how you act with that can be very telling and can be very hurtful. Like, don't put that on other people. If you need time to process, sure, but, like, don't put that on the other person. B cups after four months on E. C cups after only six months on E. D cups after eight months? <laughs> Again, I feel like there's a bit of a misconception or 
kind of like lack of good actual data on trans women's breast growth and just a general, you know, fear and worry that you're not going to grow breasts or they're not going to be as big as they could be. But yeah, no, 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 you are very capable. See, my plan is simple. Having a conversation about gender. It's actually logical. She says it's okay to feel any kind of gender. She says she sometimes feels like the other gender and it's normal. Uh, huh? And I suspect since... You know, just generational differences and how um, accepted things were and how we understood gender expression and gender identity and sexual expression and sexual identity. But there's generations of people who didn't get a chance to explore those things and who would have gotten even more enforced into their gender roles than, you know, later generations are getting. So they're pr probably, statistically, should be people who, yeah, they might be gender fluid or they might be trans. And maybe if they had a chance to explore that and feel safe in exploring that, they could have found that out, but they never got the chance before and maybe they're not in a position to explore that now, which is sad. Everybody should have a chance and ability to like learn who they are, be comfortable with who they are, explore that and, you know, live as who they are. Psst. Hey, can anyone tell me some lesser known effects of HRT on trans femmes? Asking for a friend. Uh, a lot of people experience periods. I think like trans femmes experiencing periods or cyclical periods and cramps, uh, that is not like 100% common. I haven't experienced it myself, but that does happen. Mm-hmm. Let's see what the comments say. Let's, let's, see what, let's see what we got here. It makes you colder. Oh, yeah. I think I've also experienced that myself too. And seen it in other people and other trans fans, which I think is just a difference in uh, body regulation or body heat regulation, possibly. Um, what else we got? You might shrink a couple inches. Yes, that's another one. There was a meme about the last time, but yes, you might get shorter. Motions hit differently and are processed differently. And I think that's probably a mixture of factors like HRT, yes, definitely has an effect of that. Um, but also I think being comfortable with yourself and being comfortable to explore yourself opens you to start experiencing things more. So it's like, you know, multiple things playing with each other. You often hear trans femmes talking about salt cravings and pickle cravings. Like there's a whole subset of trans memes that are just like trans femmes love pickles. And uh, that's mainly driven by spironolactone, uh, which is the antiandrogen that's mostly prescribed because it also affects the way that your kidney uh, retains water and sodium. And it actually leads to decreases in sodium in your body. So you have salt cravings and, you know, pickles are literally preserved in brine, salt water. Uh, your skin can get softer and a lot more pleasant. Your hair quality uh, and your hair health can increase a lot. And um, I don't want to go into too much detail, but... Uh, sexual activity feels different. Uh, things work a lot differently. Generally, it's a lot softer. And for me and my partner, it is a lot more enjoyable. Also, it can last a very long time. Like, uh, trans femme sexual activity can go for a very long time. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop it here. Um, thank you for watching. Sorry this video took a lot longer. I'm going to try my best, but no promises to be faster for the next video. Long story short, I got sick, and then I got sick, and then I had to travel, and I've been very stressed for writing my thesis and finishing stuff up, so... Uh, busy time. My throat actually still feels a bit rough. Um, probably this wasn't too much talking for me and that uh, my throat would be okay, but yeah. Also, model updates. Look at my glasses. Look at the tail. Look at the ears. If you don't know, I, um, I made this model myself. Uh, somebody complimented the model and, like, Thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, this has been a work of progress, and I've been learning how to do 3D modeling uh, on my own. And, you know, I, I really like I, I like this. I had an artist help me with the initial design, like, you know, the concept art, basically. Um, but this model is actually my, my own creation. There will be more meme videos, but I also want to try experimenting with uh, maybe a little more science focused video, uh, tearing down some trans femme science that I've seen that uh, is kind of eh, eh, you know? But, anyways, goodbye.